Yeah, what's going on? I'm gonna try to make this quick. So, uh, watching the video by uh, Michi X. I know people say, uh, yeah, this, that, and the other about that because I keep talking about her. They think they if they nag me to death, I'm somehow gonna shut up about their girl because that's their uh, leader or partner in crime. Hell no, I'm gonna keep bringing it out. So, what she did is what so many of these uh, agent scamming YouTubers do. Uh, you know, when things start getting low, start looking bleak, funds get low, what do you do? And th again, this is how people, and she, again, she comes from that Boyce Watkins uh, world. And he comes from that Charles Wu world of marketing. Other YouTubers have done this quite a few times. Recently, another one that people are aware of. You never heard me do this, and you never will. That's trying to tug on the heartstrings. Shows a picture of herself with her black mother to prove that she's black. Well, if you want to scrutinize that picture, you could say, God damn it, we don't even know that's your mother. We don't know if she's a, a black American. And of course, I'm going to say, how come you didn't show a picture of your father? He's supposed to have been abusive, right? Well, why did your mother get pregnant? <laughs> why, does, why do you have his last name? Why do you know Polish culture? Did he abuse that on you too? But like I said, with the Zaza Ali's, the, uh, what's her name? Kamala Harris, Obama. You notice how the parent in question is always dead or missing in action. So that way, nobody can question them and get their views and opinions. But Kamala Harris's father is around. And the only interviews I've seen of him have been in print. So he's ready to speak, but nobody's giving him any airways to speak on. And of course, they don't want you to see the fathers anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn, it's just fucking raining now. It's fucking sunshine. God damn. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway. Um... So, Michi X does what Tommy Sotomayor has done. Other people who claim to be the GOAT, what they've done. Anybody who's desperate on YouTube for that money. They tell them, bring out the tears. You can tell the tears were fake. When people sniffle too damn much, it's fake tears. And I told you this a long time ago. When people get in front of the fucking camera... And start crying, it's fake. Even if you see fucking tears coming down, it's fake. Why? Who gets in front of a camera and starts crying? Unless you want something. Unless you're trying to get a certain effect. That's why I told you, people who are in front of the camera, they're acting all of the time. And that includes your news anchors and your politicians. Shit, politicians do cocaine. They don't do it on camera. I mean, we gotta we, we gotta be real with this shit. We gotta understand what's going on here. A lot of people, they hate what I bring out because what I'm bringing out is the real deal. I just like to get raw and down to the point and no BS. So, she brings out the fake tears. You can tell when they're fake. People sniffle too much. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you know they overplay their part and then they break out of character and start getting back into the other character that they uh, have made famous and then oh yeah I forgot I gotta cry I gotta sniffle but see the main thing that you and they get the tissue ooh, ooh. come on who is gonna cry before thousands of strangers unless you know that it's going to bring money in because she did it before now you know 
on camera poured out her emotions and then the money started rolling through that's when she first got started rolling on the uh, scamming campaign and um she didn't have to tell us about her life but she doesn't tell us the pertinent details about her life which is shame on you for saying that your father was a racist your white family was racist and abusive now if your father was a racist why do you have his name if he was abusive why do you have his name why do you have his culture why do you know his family see those are simple questions to ask to uncover the truth that's how you get past the people's lies that's why you got to go past what people say and go by everything <clears throat> then you'll find the answers in the lies even if you weren't looking for the lies because you know red black and green people they get pissed off at me when I mention Meet X all the time and, and her scamming and her being Polish they, they hate it but these are facts facts that you can't deny so she continues the story see Tommy Sotomayor did this shit too he did it a few times and the money rolls in the church they do it too see everything all these scammers they're actors and they come from the same school which is performing to get your money that's what it's about Michi X's regular programming is degrading you calling you niggers I, I can't recall her ever calling white people crackers or devils in case Michi X is watching yeah that was me that used to troll your uh, chat room with the devil uh, logo just in case uh, you were wondering <laughs> and uh and I, I did that because she kept talk, talking about white people doing this to us. And I'm like, man, you can't detach yourself from white people because you are white. And not only are you white, you're Polish with the culture. So that's the key thing. The culture. Like I said years ago, if she put down a resume at a job and they saw Michelle Kolchak and she had good qualifications or decent qualifications and right next to her was another resume similar qualifications of a uh, Shanika Jenkins who do you think that they're going to call in for the interview first matter of fact who do you think the only person they're going to call in for the interview you got that right and even if Michi X went in and wasn't totally white, she and her parents is white enough. And I can guarantee you, she won't be going in sounding ghetto-fied. She'll sound Polish. And she'll emphasize her Polish, especially if the interviewer asks her, oh, that name, well, what not where, where's that, where'd that name come from? Which they're not supposed to be asking you shit like that. Because once they ask you some shit like that and then you don't get the job, that's fucking discrimination, by the way. Same thing if they ask you about your age, they ask you about, uh, you know, any your religion, or, it, or if they ask you about religion, even if you don't say what your religion is, and then you don't get the job, or if you imply something. That's discrimination. A lot of employers, they get slick with that kind of shit. But she's Polish. She'll get the hookup with the Polish community if she doesn't already. And she's using us to get paid and to get fame. She says she was getting $2,000 a month from Boyce Watkins. Yvette Carnell was getting paid too from the guy. And of course, he was getting paid from Charles. Well, why do you, why do you have to pay YouTubers? to be on your show most people will want to be on your show regardless but the reason why is because you want them 
to spread propaganda and phoniness. That's why. It's a show. She, cl she claimed she was getting 2500 and then she's so nice that she gave 500 to some other girl per month. Now, if you want or need a job on YouTube to pay 2000 a month for, you're not giving up $500, so you can cut that bullshit, Michi X. I don't know who you think you bullshitting, but you ain't bullshitting me. Then she comes up with the aura that she is somehow rich, which is another YouTuber uh, theme. Because if you're supposedly not in need of money, people will knock down your door to give you money. If you act like you do need money, then they won't give you any money. Just like the church, it's the same thing. The preacher can come out with the Rolls Royce, a car that nobody really needs, by the way. Cadillac will do just fine. And they'll keep asking you for money. And you're a fool, you'll keep giving it to them. Tommy Sotomayor. He would show off his homes, his cars, and his uh, wasteful uh, spending. And keep asking you for money every minute. And idiots will give it to him. Everybody with the name, the agents, the big ones on YouTube. A little big in the black world, anyway. You'll give them money. Because it's good entertainment. Right? But these people always claim to be rich, claim to be successful, claim to have businesses. And you're the nigger. You're the peon. You need to learn from them. And the best way you can learn from them is to pay them. Meech X claims that she has a business and claims that she's showing you how to get a business started. Her business is YouTube. And the reason I told you, the reason why she got big is because she was passed around like a $2 hole. To the black YouTubers with with the name, which was all pre-planned, if not paid for, the split from Boyce Watkins is another uh, orchestrated theatrical shit, just like with uh, Yvette Carnell, the same thing, because they got to break away and be on their own so they can get paid. That's why. Same thing with uh, Lord Jamar. All those years with Vlad TV, now he had a problem. Oh, it just happened to coincide with when he wanted to do his own thing gotta stop falling for the BS. I forgot there was another example of something. Uh, damn, what's that entertainer? Some entertainer was talking some controversial shit and then, then next thing you know, oh, they got an album coming out. The same old routine. Such and such said, uh, uh, some controversial shit. Also, look, uh, they have an album dropping pretty soon. Uh, be on the lookout for that. That's all it is. It's marketing and advertising. Just like I said, whenever you go on the internet and you see, oh, look at Kim Kardashian in a fur coat. That's promotion. I mean, you don't give a fuck about Kim Kardashian in a fur coat. Unless she's bending over, right? I mean, it's BS. Same thing. Uh, what, what did she say, Michi X? She said, I got a business. I teach other people how to get their YouTube channels popping. Because that's what she got taught. But you can't do that. See, she acts like she did it on her own. She didn't do it on her own. She did it from being bounced around from Sarnetta to Tommy and all these other people. And she got the hookup. Because she's down. she was down. Well, she probably still is. Down with Boyce Watkins. That's why. So she's coming around acting like she got the method. She ain't got the goddamn method. That's the con. Like another YouTuber try to con me. You know, people said that he conned other people with some uh, phones back in the day. And I'm like, God damn, that's fucked up. Then the man tried to hit me up with a con. I said, man, God damn. And they always come with that. You know how they say gang people are attracted to gangs when they don't have any place to go. Or same thing with churches too. Uh, they call you brother, sister. You know they call come with that. Hey, fam, you interested, fam? 
you know, fam's supposed to be uh, something to uh, help you put your guard down. Oh, man, I'm fam. Yeah. Now, how much you got? <laughs> you know, that kind of shit. It's sad, but see, once people get their names and shit, they figure, you know what, let me bring in some other suckers. Remember that Carrot Bars scam? I kept saying it was a scam in case Dinaz didn't know I was the one trolling that shit for quite a while. I'm sure he probably knew. But, uh, because <laughs> I knew it was bullshit. I made a video on it. I knew it was bullshit because I had experience with that kind of pyramid scheme. It's not sales. It's just finding another sucker to get you paid. And then they get stuck. Now, either they got one or two choices. Either say, fuck it. I got, I got beat and just take the loss or say, fuck that. I'm getting my money back. So they find another sucker to beat. And then that other sucker has to make a decision too. That's the way it is. So Michiak claims that she has a business. She claims that people owed her 265000 I got a pretty good memory, man. I watched this shit a couple of days ago. <laughs> I was going to do it right then when I was listening to that shit. I was like, man, damn. But um, she says people owed her $265,000. See, see, they keep saying all this shit to try to act like they, they doing it big. And she says she made 79000 a month or last month or some shit like that. Think about that shit. She's making that. Here's the basic line. People who are making money, people who got a good thing going. The one thing that they do not do is want you to join in on the good thing. Because once you join in on the good thing, then some of that good thing starts to go away. And all of it could go away and go to somebody else. That's why when you look at Tariq Nasheed, he has a good thing going. That's why you don't hear him saying, come to my school of scamming. I'll teach you how to get it done. He's like, no, no, no. If anybody comes with any kind of influence or knowledge, fuck that. I'm making sure they don't get none of this money, but I'll keep taking other people's shit and using it to get paid. That's the way it goes. And Tariq Nashi claims that he has a place. And he, I think he said it's an escrow the money. And he didn't name the place. He said, I ain't going to tell you until the deal is sealed. You know, that sounds good. But he didn't tell us, give us an inkling about shit until the video before the last. Now, all of a sudden... It's almost, the deal is almost sealed. He didn't tell us where, how big, what it looked like, what need to be done next. But he kept saying something that aroused my suspicions. Now, I ain't saying it's, it's set in stone. The deal is not sealed yet. Hopefully everything goes well. But he claims that money is ready and set to be released. And papers are being signed. What can go wrong at this point? Because if you're close to passing the money, that means the place got inspected. Right? That means your black ass approved of the place. Right? That means you know what the taxes are going to be. Right? You know the size. You know the location. But I think he's bullshitting. Now, he's got to produce something, but I think he's going to keep doing the Umar Johnson thing. So, we'll see what, what this guy has. We'll see. We'll see. Since he said the deal is almost sealed, we're, we're almost in August now. I expect this to be done. Now, I expect him to have the shit. I would say I'd give them to the end of the year, but I'll say by September. God damn it. Matter of fact, fuck that. He said the deal is almost sealed. Yeah, I'll give him September. It's almost August. I'll give him September. 
You better have an address, video, and the deal better be sealed. Other than that, he conned you. And it better be in Los Angeles, too. That's where it better be at. So back to Michi X. She said she had this $79,000 uh, that she made a month. And then she said, I ain't bragging about what I got. I'm not the type who likes to brag about the shit. You know, all these YouTubers, that's all they do is brag. The Negroes, anyway. Like I said, they got to act like they got. So when they ask you for something, it's for the business. It's going back into the business. It's going into the... Uh, to support the channel, you know that's vague shit, bullshit. Uh, I'm I'm doing this to help some people out. Well, if you made seventy nine thousand dollars in a month, what do you need the people for? If you live in a mansion, you supposedly have a Bentley. What do you need the people for? If you got the method. Warren Buffett does not ask the people for donations to help the people out. He gives money to help the people out. His money. So that's true philanthropy. That's not con. Michi X does not have the money that she claims her money most of her money comes from youtube and donations let's stop the bullshit now she's doing something else on the side that's on her i'm, I'm sure whatever she she must be doing on the side gotta be illegal because <laughs> she's already scamming Damn. uh so she can get out of here with that so her little so-called business she's supposed to be some type of business expert businesswoman that she claims she can only pull that stunt on crackheads idiots dimwits and people who dropped out of high school and didn't go back and thinking oh man let me see that's who that's who their audience is you know it's a bunch of it's black people the niggers that they talk about the dummies the Ghetto hood rats, the ones, you know, the names they keep calling you, they, they're talking to you. And they're calling you these names because that's what they really think of you. And it's like the equivalent of saying, excuse me, bitch. Uh, can you give me $500 to help these kids out? And then the bitch says, why certainly. Then you say, thank you, bitch. And in the future, I want some more money, okay, bitch? Now go back to the hood, bitch. And then they come back and ask you again, and then you get some more. That's how they treat you. And so many of you accept it. But I'm sure some of them are Uncle Toms who are like, yeah, I don't like uh, hood rats. But you're giving your money to ghetto hood rats and drug addicts. Now me, I don't tell people what not uh, to give their money to. You can do what you want to do. Note that I'm not telling you to give me your money. Because I'm not getting it anyway. But <laughs> even with that, I'm not telling you to. And I'm not telling you to not give to these other people. Because if you're dumb and you want to give, I can't stop you. If they, they're good enough to con you out of your money... Then hey, uh, that, hey, that's the way it is, man. I, I mean, it is what it is. See, I'm critiquing and telling you how it's done, but I'm not a hater. I know they're probably laughing like, ah, oh, man, this guy, man, come on, get out of here with this. This is hate. It's not hate. It's education. So seventy nine thousand a month. That's her claim. Her YouTube money, she's like, my channel's not monetized. I think it's because it got demonetized. That's why. That's why she hasn't been making videos on a regular basis. And like I said before, you can tell when the channel's uh, monetized is when they can get super chats. 
even if they don't get a super chat if you see the super chat button or any other they got the other one the join button and the uh, thanks button to give money if you don't see those they're not monetized she claims that she didn't monetize her uh, channel but that's a lie because her shit was always monetized she probably just got demonetized. Always lying. That's why she came with the crying video. Because things are getting rough. Notice how she never, you know, she's been moving. She's been in Airbnbs. Other people have been exposing her, by the way. Airbnbs, moving here, there, and, you know, trying to act like she's living the life. Which is what they have to do. They have to pretend. Because if you told them, listen, man, I need some goddamn money, man. I got my eye on this new Mercedes. Please. <laughs> People don't want to hear that shit. Motherfucker, I can't pay my car off and you want a Mercedes? Fuck that. But, man, I'm homeless. Uh, my kids are starving. That's why she brought up her kids and shit. Um, I'm a grandmother and all that kind of shit. You know, whatever it takes to tug on the heartstrings to make people say oh man this Michi X man <laughs> man oh man we gotta do something about this lady we gotta we gotta we gotta help the lady out whatever it takes so these people continue to con and there's no shortage of suckers either The red, black, and green con, I don't even see her promoting that red, black, and green too much anymore either. Which she shouldn't have in the first place since she's Polish. But, um... That is a con, the red, black, and green. The... Shit, the... the she even talked about the black uh, business affair thing. Again, this is what I said. I'm going to leave with this because I don't want this to be too long. Ask Michi X to show you her business. All she talks about is some MX network or whatever the hell it's called. Ask her to show you her business. Because when you look on her website, she's tr constantly trying to sell her whack-ass music. Some people say it was all right to them. To each his own trying to sell you expensive tickets to shit all overpriced shit maybe people are buying it maybe people are not I mean if you're happy with the shit see you see what I mean I'm not a hater if you're happy spending that money on that bullshit <laughs> then <laughs> I mean hey to each his own like I like like I people always say a collectible is worth only what people are willing to pay if uh the latest Spider-Man comic book is worth if people only want to pay $2 for it, that's what it's worth. If people want to pay $500 for it or more, that's what it's worth. Me, I'm selling old CDs, rap CDs. And people pay what it's worth. They, they pay for shit that's out of print, they pay the price. <laughs> my advice to everybody else you better get your uh, rap CD I mean it, it, that is unless you want to keep them I'm telling you those out of print ones they go for a pretty penny and the best way to figure out what the worth is is to look around and see if it's easy to find or hard to find and, and if you can find them what's the going rate for them once you see the going rate then you better do what you got to do. So, show us a business, Michi X. A real business. Because you say you're making 79000 a month. Well, God damn it. That sounds like enough to uh, give people lessons for free. But of course, like those infomercials of the past, which when I was a teenager, I used to get excited. I used to be falling for the shit my damn self. But then I started thinking, even as a teenager... You see them with showing the, the fucking compounds and the private jets and shit. 
Hey, you buy this pack. I don't even know if they still. Somebody, I'm sure somebody somewhere probably still selling some of those get rich quick uh, package deals. And they don't sell them cheaply either because they got to put a expensive price tag on it to make it seem like you pay this much money, it's got to work. You know, a get rich uh, a quick scheme package deal. Most of the money spent was on making this shit look expensive and fancy. And I'm sure somewhere in, in the literature they tell you nothing is guaranteed. This is a guide only. <laughs> you pay what? $500? I think that's what they were going for. 500 or something like that. And you can pay in installments and some shit like that. And you too can live the jet set life. But again, if it were true, they wouldn't sell it. They wouldn't even tell you about it. Like I said, I've run into billionaires and hundreds of millionaires. And I'm not shy. Believe me when I tell you, I'm not shy about asking them for a few million dollars. Or even a few hundred thousand. I said straight up to them. And you know what they always say to me? They don't stick around and say, you know what? Here's my card. Uh, uh, I'm going to show you how it's done, brother. Well, not brother because they're usually not black. You know what they say to me? Oh, you know, I'm about to be late for my flight. So I got to go. That's what they say to me. So nobody is trying to teach you how to get rich. They're trying to get rich off of you or keep maintain off of you. Just like a store, Pizza Man. Think a Pizza Man want to bring you to the side and say, hey, man, let me show you how it's done. No. Buy the pizza. And pizzas are pretty expensive now. I mean, what the fuck are they? These prices are going up like crazy. I mean, goddamn. And a lot of these Mexicans that the Italians hired to make pizzas for them. See? I'm going to close with this. They they see how the game is and, and how, how the shit is assembled. And you know, see, some people might think, oh, these Mexicans are just stupid. You know they got to be thinking, damn, these ingredients don't really cost that much. You know, the, the fancier Italian spots, they said we get every, all, all, everything is Italian. I don't know why Italian uh, tomatoes are supposed to be better than anybody else's tomatoes. Or Italian pickles. Uh, that's the latest thing I keep seeing. Italian pickles. I don't know how that's supposed to be better than anybody else's pickles. <laughs> Italian herbs. Italian flour. Semolina flour. You know, I, I mean, I, I just can't explain how all that. I think that's marketing. And the fact that they want to keep their money flowing through Italian hands. Giving you this extra bullshit. Italian cheese. Yeah, there's some cheeses that they make that might be better than others, but then, damn it, if you go to Trader Joe's, now, now some of the sources of those cheeses could be Italian or an Italian company. But you can go to Trader Joe's and get, get you some prime quality cheeses. That's why I go to get cheeses, man. And the cheese prices are reasonable, too. Um, but you know the Mexicans they 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 check out what's going on, open their own shit. I I have to ask myself if you gotta work at a place making pizzas, how do you afford to open up a shop? See, we can't seem to do that shit. And a lot of these jobs, we can't get in on the inside to figure out how the shit works. What I, I mean from high level tech manufacturing and all this other type of shit. So even if we wanted to do it on our own, we couldn't because we don't know the methodology unless you go to college. But then you got to hope you got some good shit lined up. But I mean, this, this is why I say we got to get in on the inside of this type of shit. That's why too many of us get into this hustle shit. In the long run, that gets you nothing, especially if you're about your people. All these other groups, they're about their people, whether or not their people are an actual people or not. Whether their group is what they're supporting. 
I just did the show on these uh, so-called Latinos. You know, these people are mixed. Even two people, three people in the family don't look alike. It could be literally a different races, but they sit, they figure, hey, I'm a Latino. Good enough. Same thing with so-called heirs. I put a video up of uh, one of those weird old auditors getting cussed out by a uh, 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 Israeli Jew. You know, he didn't look like one at first. You know, he's pretty dark. Damn near my complexion. I'm like, and he's like, man, I own this, I own that. I protect all Jews. That's my problem. That's my business. And I said, damn. But you see, the group, even when, even though the motherfuckers don't look alike, they are looking out. Of course, you got people who are like, fuck that. I don't give a fuck. I'm getting what I'm getting. You know? Happens all the time. But anyway, I can't tell people to be on the lookout for con artists. That's up to you. But like I always say, when people get in front of a mic or a camera and they start doing some shit before people that most people are going to do behind closed doors and probably wouldn't even want to do to their own family members, like start crying and start telling you about their lives and shit. To me, she was more telling us about her issues, her financial issues. To me, that's what that's what it seemed like to me, without saying it. But I'm saying those those are the things you got to look out for. So, when you want to get into that, just be on the lookout. And with that, it's still fucking. Was I think that according to this phone, when I last time I checked, it was 88 degrees. It's still hotter than motherfucking humid too. Especially when this rain just came down. Now it's sun shining like it never rained. So more humidity will be coming. So with that, I'm out.